Bloody have I got tips. Recently, Fallout 4 was released for the PC. What's Fallout 4, you might be asking? It's a video game. It's a video game. It's one of the biggest releases of the year, so I've heard. Do you care? Probably not. Neither do I. I'm not going to buy it. You probably haven't either. If you have, way this might be relevant. I don't know. I digress. So to celebrate the release of the game, Linus Tech Tips, who you may have heard of, they're, they're quite a big deal. <laughs> I don't know if you know who I am, but I'm quite a big deal. They are one of the biggest and most popular and best, frankly, technical channels on YouTube. And to celebrate the release of the game, they have put a PC inside of this Fallout 4 bomb prop, which comes with the collector's edition of the game. Yeah, that yeah, you didn't miss here. They've actually put a PC inside of here, and it works, goddammit. It actually works. So that, that is just mind-blowing. So go and check those guys out. They do crazy shit like this on a regular basis, so go and check them out. So what I thought I'd do is jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> Why not? I do a YouTube channel and I thought, you know, someone might want to see it, so I thought I'll do it. So I'm going to 3D model that actual bomb, this one that they've built here. This isn't the same as the collector's edition bomb. It's sort of custom made. This the sort of middle compartment here is sort of custom built by Linus Tech Tips. So I'm going to do this. I want to model this up. There's a couple of caveats before I start. Just some things that, just to clarify that you might pick up on as we go through. I'm not going to be doing it lifelike. Uh, a lot of the textures on here are, are hand painted, so they, they look really quite rough, and you know they do look like they're handmade. So I'm not going to be able to get that effect through computer generated textures. I probably could, but it would take too much time, and it's not really worth it for what I'm doing. So it's not going to be lifelike. I will miss out a lot of the textures, maybe a couple of the stickers and stuff like that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I, and I don't have the actual bomb in front of me, right? I haven't bought the game, so a lot of the sizes that I'm going to be going off are just purely made up. So, you, there'd be smart asses out there like, oh boy, you can quite truly see that's a 32 inch BenQ 5672-PTQ monitor, which if you look in the proportions, you can clearly tell that that's a, you've used the complete wrong size as you retard. Oh, I, don't care. I, I don't care, right? I really don't care. I'm modeling this so that it, it looks okay. I'm not modeling this so that it can be built. So, I'm going to be using a lot of bad practices. Uh, a lot, I'm not going to be putting in like snap fit clips and stuff like that and perfect tolerances and whatnot. It's, I'm modeling this purely so it looks good. Keep that in mind. Uh, and it's not a tutorial either. So I'm going to be speeding this up dramatically. I'm not going to be putting it out at one-to-one -one speed. So if you want to follow it, then you're going to have to try and slow the video down somehow. But if I was to put it out at one-to-one -one speed, it would just take too long. It would be a ridiculously long and boring video. So with that in mind, I'll see you on the other side. Toodles.
Scream!